Folks, the Merc with the Mouth Deadpool review coming in three, two. By the way, before I start this review, I just want to say that I have seen Deadpool before. Uh, I did like it before. Uh, I'd sort of forgotten, you know, I had to be, when watching this film, I was sort of reminded of a lot of things. But this is the one X-Men continuity film that I had seen and remembered well. So, just just thought I'd mention that. You know, you have the opening with the comedic credits. Sort of sets the tone for what this film's going to be. A meta joke analysis of the, you know, X-Men universe and just film, superhero films in general. And films in general, in general uh, yeah, a good good opening. I think it goes without saying, but everyone by this point knows who Deadpool is. You know, he's a funny, you know, badass hero, uh, uh, really super <laughs> brutal, gory, sexual jokes. That's just who he is. Uh, not much else to say about that. Ryan Reynolds plays the character excellently. Maybe, you know, to perfection. I think in the history of anyone uh, carrying a movie, Ryan Reynolds probably carries this movie more than <laughs> anyone else carries any other movie. Because there's no movie without Deadpool and there's no movie without Ryan Reynolds. That's just how it is. By the way, if you want to see another review that I did where Ryan Reynolds plays Deadpool, uh, click up there for the X-Men Origins review. You might not have known, but yeah, Ryan Reynolds played Deadpool in X-Men Origins. Not a good movie, by the way, but if you want to see exactly why, click up there for my thoughts. Uh, anyway, back to the review. Yeah, another thing that goes without saying is just, you know, the meta jokes, the fourth wall breaks, uh, the colorful cast of side characters that you get. It's all super fun and contributes to the movie and Deadpool's character as a whole. With all that said, though, I do have to say that Deadpool has never really been a favorite character of mine. Uh, I like him, but I don't think, you know, a lot of people seem to really like him, seem to love him even. I don't really have that, you know, relationship with him as a character. I like the meta jokes and all that part of it, but I'm not really so much a fan of the excess gore. I'm not like a, a child or anything like that, but just the vile jokes. Uh, you know, it's overbearing at times, and it's just not really my thing. I will say a cool little thought that I noticed, again, with the X-Men Origins review, uh, that while watching my brother pointed out that the whole reason that this movie exists is because in Days of Future Past when Logan went back and messed with the timeline this is what happened to Ryan Reynolds Deadpool instead of whatever happened in X-Men Origins right so he never became Weapon X because instead uh, he didn't meet Stryker and so he became this Deadpool and thank God for that because this movie is good and that movie is not uh, just another thought is that there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time spent on his origin in this film, more than pretty much any other origin story, you know, it's a large portion of it, and they do sort of tell it out of order, so, uh, you know, to ease the load, but, you know, it's, it's not bad per se, it's just a, a lot of time spent on his origin in particular. And then, you know, there's a surprising emotional depth brought to the movie as well, you have, again, all Ryan Reynolds pretty much carrying it, but his relationship... Uh, you know cancer and he actually you know he gets angry and sad and you see all these things and he's, they still do it without managing to go uh, to out of the tone of the comedic fourth wall meta breaking stuff they just overlay it and they do a really really good job of that and I think it adds you know an extra layer to the film that uh, really enhances it and then one last thing I'll say is that you know this film is very generic obviously in terms of plot uh, in terms of the villain but you know, that sort of thing doesn't matter when you have a character like Deadpool, because you have a movie like Guardians of the Galaxy sort of has something similar, uh, generic villain, generic plot. But when you have these comedic characters that thrive in that environment, you know, they thrive sort of parodying that, you know, specific subset of these genre, uh, you know, it works really well. So this film has been talked about, you know, forever. Uh, everyone loves this film. What new is there to say for me? Uh, a, you know, it's an A. There's not, there's not much wrong with it. It's a very good film with very good depth acting. I already said it all. I already said it all. If you want my thoughts and you, for some reason, skip to the end or just watching now and you want to see it again, I don't know, maybe, maybe you like doing that, then you can go back and restart. I'm not going to repeat myself, okay? Not even for you, despite how much I love you. If you subscribe, subscribe, please, and I'll love you even more. Uh, but A, A for Deadpool, and that's my review. So if you like this review, you know the drill, right? I'm not going to repeat it. All right, maybe I'll repeat it. Subscribe, like, bell, blah, blah, blah. Click on, on up there for my X-Men reviews playlist because I have so many other X-Men reviews. And next episode, next review, sorry, not episode, is X-Men Apocalypse. So if you want to see that, please wait for that. It'll be up presumably shortly after this. I can't make any promises. But thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you.
you're still here. It's over. Go home. <laughs>